Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we are going to be tackling this bad boy right here. So I recently put up a poll on my community tab and thank you so much to everybody who participated in it. But I asked you how many red lipsticks are too many. I think that's what I said. Yeah, how many red lipsticks are too many? And I saw some interesting results. So 56% of you said more than five is too many. <laughs> I have 83 red lipsticks in this container right here, which is definitely too many. I love red lipsticks. I am wearing one of them today. I love them. I think that they look so classy and so beautiful. But 83 is definitely too many. And so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to sit down with you guys and let's declutter this. I'm definitely going to keep more than five because you guys know me. I'm pretty extra. And like I said, I love red lipsticks. But I want to pare this down some. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around and we're going to start decluttering all of my red lipsticks. All right, my friends, we are here and we are looking at the first set of cuts. So I do want to first of all say that uh, if the perspective is a little bit funky, I'm really sorry. I don't have an overhead camera mount, so I'm just using my tripod and it's angled downward. So I hope that everything is straight and it doesn't look kind of skewed, but if it does, I'm super sorry. So the first round of cuts that we have right here are any of the products that I can see have never been used because these can be donated. So for example, this one here from Stila is still in its wrapper. This one here from LA Girl also still in the wrapper uh, with the lipsticks. I opened them up and pulled them out and you can see, I mean, there's no usage whatsoever. This has never been swatched or touched or anything. So any of these that I can see have never been used are automatically going to be pulled to the side so that they can be donated. And that leaves all of these right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to swatch them to see about the color, to see if the formula still smells okay, just to kind of see what it looks like. Because obviously with 83 red lip products, I haven't used them in a really long time. So let's go ahead. I think we're just gonna dump it out. And then we're gonna get to swatching. So we're gonna go up the arm and we're gonna see what everything looks like and whether it's a color that makes sense and so on. So I will quit rambling because y'all know I talk way too darn much. And we'll see what we've got. So here are the first 10 red lipsticks. And see, this is why red is so funny because they're all red, but they're all very different reds. So this right here is actually the red lipstick that I'm wearing right now. This is by Maybelline. This is 382 red for me and it is a matte formula. The next one here is definitely much more of kind of a magenta base. This is American Beauty by Besame. I don't know that I necessarily love that for a red. So we're gonna set it to this side. The next one is from Becca. This is Rouge 
or Rogue, I think, actually. I don't know. Rouge, Rogue, something like that. Uh, I do like this one a lot. I like how much brown is in there. This, for me, is a very, very wearable red. So I will definitely be holding on to that one. This one's hard. This one is by NYX. This is the High Voltage Lipstick. It's this right here, and I'll be very honest. I love the color. Like, this blue-based red, I think, is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to set this to like a chopping block sort of situation. I know that I've worn this at least one other time before, but I feel like it might move around a little bit. So this one is going to go onto a chopping block over here um, to see how I feel about it. Because that's the other problem. I haven't worn these in a super long time. So the next one here, this is Russian Red by MAC. And again, it is a very classic blue-based red, but it seems really, really similar to the Maybelline. Like these two look very similar to me. I don't know if they're reading similarly um, on camera, but they look very similar to me. So do I need them both? No. Do I think that I like the MAC one a little bit better? Yes. So we're gonna move Maybelline over and we're gonna hold on to the Mac The next one is uh, It says lip balm city color um, That already has me feeling a little bit nervous because I don't want a red That I'm gonna have to worry about slipping and sliding around. That's exactly why this one is now going into a chopping block so I also don't know that I love this color so I think I'm gonna put it over here in the declutter pile. Let's move it where you can see it a little bit better. The next one surprised me. Oh my gosh, this used to be one of my favorite reds ever. This is by Maybelline. This is 795 Smoking Red. This used to be like my go-to red lipstick and this has so much more purple in it than I remember and it just isn't what I am personally gravitating towards at this time so yeah I think I'm gonna be decluttering that one which comes as a huge surprise this right here is actually in my trash your treasure project pan this is from number seven this is in the shade love red so I'm gonna put it in the chopping block pile because it's already in a chopping block style project and I will wear it until I have made a decision on it the next shade right here also is, um, this is, what is this, L'Oreal. This is 402 Blake's Red. And again, this has a very similar sort of feel to this shade right here. It has that sort of magenta quality to it. And I just don't think that I love that. So we're gonna put this over here on the declutter side as well. And finally, in this round, we have a deluxe sample from Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Seriously Red. Pretty sure they don't make this anymore. Um, I like the color, but I don't know about the formula, so I'm gonna put it over here on the chopping block side. we are back and as you can see we already have the swatches down because while I was filming me actually putting these on I did not realize that my camera was out of focus the whole time and I'm so sorry so let's talk about what is on my arm here so the first swatch right here is from this bad boy right here this is from pure this is the lip lure in the shade fiery and it's gorgeous. This for a long time was also one of my very favorites. But you guys, this is like five years old. 
and it's one of those that has like the little cushion sort of tip applicator. This came in, I'm pretty sure, a BoxyCharm five years ago. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this to the, to the trash bin because it is just so old and I'm pretty confident that I've got this shade in a newer formula. The next shade that you see there is from Fiona Styles. This is, uh, I think, a brand that no longer exists at all. It used to be sold at Ulta. And I really liked a lot of their things. So this is the shade right here. And again, I really like that it has that sort of brownish aspect to it. So for the moment, we're going to go ahead and hold on to that one there. The next one is from Bite. Again, another discontinued item. This is in the shade Tannin, and I like it. I mean, it's really, really pretty. And for the moment, actually, no, I take that back. This and the Fiona Styles, they're gonna go in my chopping block section because I can't just keep everything. I can't just keep everything. <laughs> but the next thing I'm gonna keep. Um, so this... <laughs> This next swatch right here is Snow White from ColourPop. This is from the original Disney Princess release. And because I have the whole lipstick collection, um, I'm going to be holding on to this one and any of the others that come up because I'm a lunatic like that. All right, the next one is right here. This is a beautiful orangey red. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon. So we're gonna be holding on to that one as well because I don't have right now any other reds like it. I'm also gonna be holding on to this one right here. This is actually um, one of my very favorite reds in the entirety of my collection. Again, it's got that sort of brown, bricky sort of note. This is from Dear Dahlia, which is a fantastic brand, um, but this is in the shade Carmen and I absolutely adore it. This next shade right here is from Besame. This is Tango Red. And I do really love the undertones of this one. This one is just a true neutral red. So I'm gonna put this over in the chopping block section so that I can try it on, see how I feel about it. I know that I bought these Besame lipsticks a very long time ago, but I can't remember having used them, which is ridiculous. So putting that off to the side. This next swatch is from Shiseido. This is a mini in the shade Ruby Copper. And I do quite like it, um, but I'm not sure. I don't really remember much about it. So we're gonna put it in the chopping block side as well. This right here is a mini lip crayon in Chili Red from Tristique. I don't need it, it's dry. It took a lot to really build that up. So that is going to be decluttered. And then we have Cruella from NARS, which I'm gonna hang on to because I really like this formula in the pencil. It's one that goes on nice and opaquely and doesn't move around and it's, it's one that I do like. So here are our next 10 swatches. The first one is from NYX. This is, what is this? Simply Red Lip Crayon SR06. Um, again, this has that sort of kind of purpley undertone to it that I just don't think that I love. So we are gonna go ahead and put this on the declutter side. The next is from Bite Beauty. This is in the shade Pomegranate. This is one that I do actually like the color of, and I don't really know how I feel about the formula. So I know that this has been discontinued. So we're gonna go ahead and put it over on the 
chopping block side. Stay. So this right here is from Japanesque. Again, this is a brand that is no longer being sold. I am pretty sure they filed for bankruptcy, which is kind of sad because I did really enjoy their stuff. Um, and this is definitely a much more sort of warm toned red, which I don't think I've really kept much of. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this for now at least over on the keep side so that we have some tonal variety. Oh no, I just knocked everything over because I'm clumsy. Hopefully I didn't get things out of order. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, so the next shade is from Clinique. This is Cherry Pop. And again, it's got that sort of um, kind of bluey pinky undertone that I just don't think I'm a fan of. So that's gonna go ahead and go in my declutter pile. This right here doesn't look like much, but I love this so, so much. This is from Ilya. This is in the shade Arabian Nights. This is just a very sheer sort of balmy that has just enough color payoff to make your lips look healthy and gorgeous. So I am totally keeping this and I totally recommend it. It is absolutely gorgeous. The next shade right here is from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Miss Scarlet. Uh, I don't need this. I don't need this. The formula came on very dry and I just don't think I like it. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the declutter pile. This shade right here is also from Bite Beauty. This is from Tannin, which is I guess the lip crayon companion to the lipstick that we just looked at. So it's gonna go over my chopping block side as well because again, I do like the color, but I don't really know anything about it. This right here is from Lipstick Queen. This is in the shade Saint Red. Um, I think it's going for kind of a similar vibe to the Ilia right here, but it, I don't really like the color, so that's gonna go ahead and go in our declutter pile. From, what is this? Is this from Armani? Yeah, this is from Armani. This is the shade right here. And again, it's got that kind of pinky undertone to it, but it's a more sheer formula. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this over on the chopping block side to see how it looks like on my lips and how it wears. And then the last shade right here is from Too Faced. This is in the shade Rebel Heart. And I do like it. This is a very, very old product. I feel like this is at least five years old at this point. I, I remember buying it in a holiday pack and I feel like that was the year that I got married. So this is not a new product at all. Um, now, going on, it still looks good. It still smells fine. So I am going to put this in my chopping block pile so that I can see what it looks like on my face. seems to be all of my bullet lipsticks. I think the rest are just liquid lipsticks. So let's talk about the remaining bullet lipsticks. This one from YSL. It is in the shade, I think it's just 01. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I feel like I, I do want to keep that. Um, and then right next to it is Makeup Forever and it seems like it is almost an identical shade. So I definitely don't need two and I love the way that this one applied. This one was super, super creamy whereas this one not quite as much. So this one is gonna go into our declutter pile. Here we go, please. Um, and then next to it we have another shade that is very, very similar. This is Icon Pop by Clinique. And I don't think that I need this one either because I'm keeping the others. So we'll put that in that pile there. We have from ColourPop, we have the Just a, Chin Just a Tint in Chimichanga. I am holding on to that one because I do like it. Um, I'm also gonna hold on to the Wander Beauty. This is in um, Parisian Red. 
and I'm gonna put it in my chopping block pile because I really like the way that it applied and I like that kind of sheerish aspect. This is Tiana from the Disney Princess Collection, which as I said, I'm gonna be holding on to because I'm a nutter. And then this one right here, this is also from Lipstick Queen. This is in Medieval. And it is almost, again, identical to the one from Ilia. The one from Ilia is newer and I think I like it better. So I am gonna go ahead and declutter that one. All right, so before we jump in to the liquid lipsticks, there are a few that I know that I wanna go ahead and declutter from the jump. This one right here from Be A Bombshell. This is a very pigmented gloss and that is just not the life that I lead these days. I don't want to worry about something moving around all over my face. So that's also why we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna declutter this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Imagine. It's gorgeous, but it's just not, it's just not for me these days. Um, and so is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream in the shade Cha-Ching Cherry. It is a very pigmented lip gloss. It's beautiful. Again, it's one of the shades that for a long time was one of my favorite go-to reds. Just not the life that I'm living right now. And then, oh, uh, not this one, this one. This is from Too Faced. This is one of their melted mattes, which I do really love this formula, but the shade Cinnamon Bear, I've worn it once and I didn't like it. It didn't look good on me. I don't know why I still have it, knowing that it's not one that I like. So that leaves the rest of these. Um, I'm also not gonna swatch, well, I'll, I'll swatch it, but I'm gonna keep it. So <laughs> this is by Physicians Formula. This is the Healthy Lip. If you've been keeping up with me in my Trash Your Treasure project pan, you know that this is one of my very favorite red lip products ever. So it is definitely going into the keep pile. I also really like this one. This is Lady Balls from Too Faced. Again, it's in the Melted Matte Formula, which I do very much enjoy. And I think it's just a really beautiful red. So that one I also know that I'm gonna hang on to. So let's just go ahead and swatch out the rest and see what we think. the last round of swatches that you just saw me apply and then I think I got myself out of order so if I did I'm sorry but I feel like I've kind of lost my mind and I'm going a little cross-eyed so I apologize so this right here the second the third one right here this is from Revlon this is their ultra HD in the shade romance and I remember I used to really, really like this a lot, but I just don't think it's doing it for me anymore. And also, even though this says that this is a matte lip color, I, I feel like it stayed pretty glossy. So we're just gonna go ahead and set that to the side in the declutter. I believe that the next one is this one right here, and this is the shade Lost, also from ColourPop, and I'm pretty sure this is an ultra satin. It's all kind of rubbed off. Um, and it's just much more vampy than what I'm currently leaning towards these days. This one right here though is one of my absolute favorites. This is, 
Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. This is also from ColourPop. This is from the collab that they did with I Love Sarah E. It is in the shade Arriba. Like I can speak Spanish. Um, and I love this. I love this. This is just such a true classic red. I absolutely love it. Next to it is, I think, <laughs> from Ulta. This is the Matte Lip Cream. It is in the shade Passionate. And I like it. I like that it's got kind of like this thinness to it. But I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm going to put it in my chopping block pile so that I can wear it and see how I feel about the actual wear of it. I'm pretty sure that this one right here is from Rimmel. This is from their Stay Matte. And this is in the shade Fire Starter. And I remember I used to really like this, but you can you can see just, it just doesn't do it. Like you've got this progression right here. You've got this amazing, true vibrant red. You've got this one, which is a little bit diminished. And then this one right here, you can see my freckles through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the declutter pile. It's also super old. And then this one right here, I'm pretty sure is the Revlon Color Stay Ultra Matte. I'm sorry, Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. And it is in the shade Top Tomato. I don't remember having really used this much. Um, I, I could see that it was used, but I don't really remember it. So it's gonna go in my chopping block pile so that I can get a better feel for it. This one right here, again, absolutely Stunning red, stunning red. Um, it's by ColourPop. Color Pop. This is in the shade Snowflake. It is on their ultra matte lip, so we're gonna hold on to that one as well. This one though, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on. This is also from ColourPop. This is in the shade Starcrossed. Uh, again, it's got kind of that purpley undertone to it that I just don't think I'm in the mood for these days. So we're gonna put that in the declutter pile. This one right here, um, it has definitely got like this magenta aspect to it. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this one. And it's sad because I think this has only been in my collection for a very short amount of time. It's called Kiss of Fire. But I, I just don't see myself wearing it, which kind of sucks. This is gonna be a straight up throwaway trash. It is super dried up. This is from Julep, but I mean, you can see it's just dried up and cracked inside. So just trying to get this little bit of a swatch. It, unfortunately, at midnight is one that's going to have to be thrown away. Over here, we have from the Sephora House brand, this is their lip stain in 01. I actually worked on painting this in some project a while ago. I love this formula and I love this color, so, um, for now, we're gonna go ahead and hold on to it. Same is true for this one right here. This is from Bare Minerals. What am I doing? That looks exactly like this shade right here. I don't need both of these. I need to just go ahead and declutter that one because they look almost identical and there's just no reason to keep them all. Um, this right here is from NARS. This is in Star Woman. And again, it looks like what we already have. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the declutter pile because I don't need a million things that look exactly alike. And then finally, we have this right here. This is the vinyl cream from YSL in the shade 401. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the chopping block pile. I feel like I've used this before and even though it's super glossy right here, I feel like the it doesn't move around, it just is a stain. So I'm gonna put that in the chopping block section so that I can remember if I like it or not. All right, my friends, so here we are on the other side of that massive declutter. My arm is so angry because in between each swatches, I had to go in and actually like scrub the daylights out of it to get all the red off and it is feeling the pain. So I though am feeling really, really good. You guys know that I am not a fan of decluttering. I'm really bad at it and I'm feeling super jazzed right now. So let's talk about where my numbers ended up. So I started with 83 lip items in that basket. 
I did discover in this process that I had one of them in that was not the right color. It was a plum instead of a red. So it was actually the second to the last shade that I swatched. I don't think I even mentioned it, but it just, I got it pulled out. So that left me with 82. So there were 17 that I decided to keep. Is 17 excessive? Of course it is. But it's a whole lot better than 82. And to be fair, there are some in there that I'm keeping not because I have any intention of using, but just because I'm holding on to them. So for example, there are two of the Disney Princess um, designer from the original release that I have all of them. So I'm not gonna be getting rid of any of them. So that was two of them. One of them is incredibly old. I don't even think I mentioned it while we were swatching. Um, it is well over 10 years old. I don't use it. It's a gift from one of my very dearest friends. And so I just will not part with it because I love it. And so that one is going to be in there as well. But I mean, even still, that leaves me with what? 14, <laughs> which is still a lot, but I'm, I'm happy with that number in comparison. Now, I also pulled some to the side for a chopping block sort of scenario. There are 16 that are in that section there. Um, I'm okay with that too. I want to make sure that I'm making as informed a decision as I can when deciding to part with these items or whether to keep them. So I will spend probably the next two months or so really giving them a good wearing. So my trash or treasure might suffer. Um, but I do want to make sure that I am making good decisions when it comes to those shades. So I feel like 16 is a reasonable amount to have in that section. But guys, what that means is that I am decluttering 49, 49 lip products. That for me is fantastic. I am so proud of myself. So that's gonna be either, um, there are two items that I'm actually gonna have to throw away because they're just not passable anymore. <laughs> so that's two of those. Then there are the ones that I am going to try to rehome that I've used, but that I'm going to pass on to friends and family. And then all of the ones that have never been used that are going to be donated. And I'm feeling really, really great about this result. So let me know, what do you think in the comments below? Did I keep the right ones? Were there ones that you think that I should have kept or do you think that I should have just chucked them all? I would love to know. As always, everything that I am wearing on my face will be linked in the description box below. So make sure to check it out as well as some of the videos that will be linked down there as well. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you are having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.